Hello, thank you for taking the time to view our weekly message. I'm Jean Madden, Director of Music and Religious Education here at St. Francis Cabrini Parish. Welcome to the church's liturgical season of ordinary time. How quickly the Christmas trees and stable disappear from our church environment and the decorations disappear from our homes. The festive cheer that filled the air for so many days has dissipated and we're back to our usual routines. Transitioning back to the customary rhythms of life after the murray chaos of holiday celebrations can feel like a gentle tug of war between reluctance and readiness. I love being with family and friends and I don't want those times to end, but it will be very nice to be able to easily identify what day of the week it is. As we transition back to our normal routines, we don't need to say goodbye to the joys and excitement of Christmas. Our faith calls us to do the exact opposite. Yes, we pack away the baby Jesus from our nativity sets and we put away all the decorations of the season, but we are challenged to remember and to celebrate every day that God is with us. The return to routine gives us an opportunity each day to welcome God into our daily activities, to cherish the memories created during the holiday season, and to carry the warmth and love of Christmas into our everyday life. Here at St. Francis Cabrini, we are sliding right back into the regular rhythm of parish life as we anticipate the continuation of our Faith Enrichment Series on the Eucharist. The first two sessions of the series were attended by over 260 people. Session one provided an opportunity to explore our personal relationship with Jesus. This session set the foundation for the rest of the series. In the second session, we reflected on the meaning of the presentation of the gifts, lifting up our hearts to the Lord and giving thanks and praise. We concluded session two with a discussion of the Sanctus, the Holy, 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 which is the prayer that unites our voices with those of the angels and saints in praising God. It's the prayer we pray right before entering into the holiest part of the Eucharistic prayer. During the first week of February, the series continues with session three, where we will focus on the words of Jesus, do this in memory of me. If you participated in the first two sessions of the series, we encourage you to take out your session booklets and review the content in preparation for session three. You do not need to register again. If you did not participate in the previous two sessions and would like to join us for the remaining two sessions, please call the rectory or visit our website or Facebook page. Session three will be offered on Sunday, February 4th at 6.30 p.m., Wednesday, February 7th at 7 p.m., and Saturday, February 10th at 10.30 a.m. The Saturday morning session is filled to capacity, I'm sorry to say for those who might have wanted to join us then, but there is plenty of room for new participants to join us on Sunday or Wednesday evenings. As we return to our usual daily lives, embracing the beauty of routine and the comforting rhythm that guides us through each day, our participation in the Faith Enrichment Series can help us actively invite Jesus to be a part of that everyday routine. And let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Father of light, unchanging God, you reveal to people of faith the resplendent fact of the word made flesh. Your light is strong, your love is near. Draw us beyond the limits which this world imposes to the life where your spirit makes all life complete. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed week.